Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, so I tried searching online for my sister-in-law's uh, 2014 Toyota Avalon, trying to install um, on her SLE XLE Avalon um, with halogen lights. Trying to uh, using uh, the HID kit provided by this company, Innovated. I found on Amazon had about four out of five stars. Uh, pretty good. Um, bulb type for the Avalon is um, 9,005. I believe and the temperature we're using for this particular car is the 4300 uh, Kelvin so it's pretty close to you know any other car that has uh, slack HIDs um, you know she didn't want to do the 6000 because it had a bluish hue to it uh, 5000 was pretty good I recommended that but she wanted to stick with the uh, 4300 Kelvin um, if you can see right here that is the bulb that we're working with and hopefully we'll be able to Get that switched out in pretty quick time so check it out so looking down from the uh, driver's side um, bulb um, you're actually gonna turn it um, I think counterclockwise and I don't know if I can do this on video but let's see if I can get an angle but you simply just tur turn turn <laughs> with your hand and it actually just pops right out um, I'm gonna do this off camera but you simply just pull straight out from that um, You'll see some, um, I guess you can call them teeth, that uh, shows that the actual uh, part of the bulb is able to be removed pretty easily and stuff. Um, but let me see. No, actually. All right. So now I know you guys are saying, um, make sure you don't touch the uh, the bulb with your hand because uh, any any grease from your hand going onto the bulb will actually make the bulb uh, fail faster. And that goes for any kind of bulbs for HIDs or halogens and stuff. Uh, to actually detach the, the bulb from the uh, the bracket, I don't know what you want to call it, but you simply um, get a flathead or even use your hand, and you can just pop that up. Um, it should just pop right off. So um, again, I can't do it on the, on the video, but um, I'll show it on the next shot how it looks. All right, so taking off the bulb, uh, we have a plug that looks like this that will actually plug into um, the HID uh, kit itself. Um, I'll show you that in a few seconds about how it looks and how it's going to be set up. But I really suggest that you guys um, test out the ballast and the bulbs first prior to um, getting everything done because it's such a pain in the butt getting everything done and then you turn on the lights, nothing turns on, so definitely do that first. Alright, so interesting enough, um, this particular kit has reverse pol polarity, polarity, yeah, can't say it, um, but basically for this connection, rather than plugging it with, uh, like I should call it the tooth on the other side, um, would actually have to go in uh, the opposite direction on here, um, which actually turns on the, the ballast itself. Um, you know, it is what it is, but uh, I guess what I can do is I'll be uh, getting electrical tape or something that's going to keep it together pretty tight. But even by itself, it's it's pretty strong to begin with, but um, definitely want to um, get something, something to uh, keep it tight and hopefully, you know, it doesn't go out while driving down the road. Alright guys, so being creative, um, like I said before, uh, there's a metal plate when you look down from the battery on the driver's side. I was able to mount the, the ballast there. It's a slim fitting slim fitting ballast, so it was able to uh, hide right underneath that battery um, tray. Um, as you can see, the it's not the most cleanest job, but at least everything got together. Uh, things are placed pretty um, steady. They're not going to fall off the uh, other wires and stuff, so I know the connections will be fine. I also reinforced that connection I had earlier, where I had a um, turn the, the the connector around to uh, get the right polarity. Uh, when it comes to the light here, as you can see the HID bulb is in place here and can't really show it to you, just, just no angle for it. Uh, basically it's kind of in this orientation but from uh, this angle here. So basically when you turn it, uh, you turn it from this direction and then clockwise. So basically um, the I believe the, uh, the three connectors for the bulb. It's kind of hard doing it this way. Uh, it should be like that and then in the end it should be uh, turned this way at the very end when everything's all connected properly. So um, that's kind of my guy for that side on the driver's side. I'll be pretty brief with the uh, passenger side, same idea, but it'll have a different location for uh, the ballast. Probably in this area right here I'm thinking. Um, so you'll see the fin finished product in a second. 
All right, guys, so I could be wrong, but um, the orientation on this side, uh, the passenger side, um, when you're facing towards the front of the car, um, the bulb looks like it's in this direction here. Um, and you would turn it counterclockwise, and then you would pull it forward uh, to take it out. And then the orientation for the bulb, the HID bulb, is the same thing as this when you put it in. Uh, I believe it's somewhere like in this vicinity here. You'll see the, uh, the three the three prongs. Just line it up and then twist back and you'll get to that same orientation. Uh, but I want to point it out there just because this one was like a little different angle just because it's on the opposite side of the car. But uh, yeah. All right guys, so passenger side is easier to work with, a little bit more room. Uh, as you can see, I mounted the ballast here right to the side of the, uh, the bay here. Um, one piece of metal that's pretty flat that was able to be uh, attached to with the 3M tape. Wires a little bit more neater, I guess you can say, just because there's more room to work with. Um, the bulb is attached to the uh, to the back of the of the housing, and again, this is actually um, a video for installing HIDs for the I think it's 2013 to the 2017 model Avalons um, that don't have the HIDs already built in, but for the uh, halogen um, halogen uh, housing that uh, the XLEs have. So uh, hopefully this helps out for you guys. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.